This week, I watched Bandersnatch, Black Mirror, okay. Netflix movie. Um, not a fan. Did you Did you see it? I I did. What What's it was, your uh, did not live up to my expectations. No, for Black Mirror. But I don't know if that's. I want to say it's. It could be because of the choose your own adventure thing. Yeah, like I might have just enjoyed it had I watched just a linear story. I don't know. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I, the concept is interesting for sure because Netflix is really one of the few places you could do something like that. Yeah, yeah. And we, like I felt like the the quality and the production, all that was there. I thought the acting was really good. Yeah, the acting was just, really good. I just it. I couldn't like immerse myself in the story. Yeah. Well, the theme. So Black Mirror does really good with these interesting concepts, right? Like it, it takes this idea and like really draws it out and makes you question what would you do? And like makes you, it, it takes you on this path. So you understand why this person would do something so horrendous. Like mm-hmm. uh, uh shut up and dance is a great example of that. I think, right? Like yep. you see this oh, yeah, kid, that's probably one of the best. this kid doing these things that gets progressively more and more difficult to the point where he murders somebody. And you're just like, why? And then you find out it was because he was looking at um, child pornography and he got, you know, it was being blackmailed into doing it. And you're like, oh, okay, I, that, I, I get it. You know, it makes sense. And like, it makes you question a lot of things. And then in this one, with Bandersnatch, it, the, the theme was control is an illusion. And how boring of a theme when you're saying pick your own adventure it's like we all get it like we all know that most pick your own adventures are pretty linear linear right like Uh there's not a lot of branching out but that's because people are lazy about it like you really could have a lot of different things happening and so for them to be like let's make a choose your own adventure but let's just make it one one thing it's just like why you like it just felt and like a big waste of time them telling you that you don't really have choices yeah that well that's what they kept coming back to right like oh choices you is not really in your hands and every like the main character is you right every, everything people say to the main character is talking to the audience and so right. when they're telling him like oh you don't have a choice they're just telling the audience that and it's not it's not interesting it's like to me, so we started and we chose the very first main choice where you either work with them or you don't work with them. Mm-hmm. We chose to work with them and then obviously that didn't work out. And then it goes back and makes you redo it. And so I was like, oh, I wonder if I chose to work with them twice because the first time the first time you do it, they don't really know a lot of stuff. And then the second time they have new information because you made the wrong choice. And I was like, oh, if you choose a to do it again, maybe they have new information and things will be different, which is super fascinating to me. So I chose to do it again and it just put it right back in the same loop. Nothing changed. And so the whole new information made no sense to that, to that part of it, you know? Right. And, uh, so that was disappointing. And then as you went on, if you made the wrong choice, it would just force you back into the loop, which, I, I thought the way they did it was cool in a way of you didn't have to start over every time, right? Because that would have been terrible. I did like that. That would have been awful. Um, but for them not to give you options to just jump to choices, mm-hmm. like on a, like a sidebar, like a chapter bar, I thought was a big mistake because it would have been nice to be able to just jump back without having to go all the way. Like once you got past a certain tree, there were some choices that you just didn't get to see again unless you redid the whole thing. Right. Um, <clears throat> but so I, I like, I thought the way they did the send you back was well done, but there's really, it's a straight line in storytelling with these little jug handles of offshoots, you know, like yeah. n- none of the divergent choices changed the story. It just, you go off for a little bit and then you come right back and start over and go back down the, the story they want to tell you. And yeah. for that to be, for it to be a choose your own adventure story movie 
for them to do that was so disappointing to me because it was like man you guys could have really made you know multiple things for that would have been a completely different experience because they filmed it um they didn't just keep filming the same things like oh here's a different option here's a different option they filmed it like linear i don't know why i can't say that word that's like the fifth time i've tried to say it yeah linear low all these (laughs) and they would come back and redo stuff so the characters could be in the right mindset for what's happening Mm -hmm. and so it's like why not why not do other things (laughs) you know why not change it up and allow actual paths to diverge and but yeah. because their concept was choice and is, is an illusion, they couldn't do that. And so you made this tedious, gimmicky thing for nothing just to say you thought you were going to be able to choose something. You don't get to because choice doesn't really exist. Suck it. <laughs> you know, that, yeah. that was basically the whole thing. Well, maybe that's the point is to frustrate you with how little choice you have in life. Maybe, but why do that in entertainment? You know, the reason (laughs) like the reason why like Telltale Games, I think, is a good example, a a comparison, because Telltale is pretty bad about it, too, where it kind of forces you back into the main story. Like it it doesn't really let you diverge from what they want to tell you, which I understand. Right. Like it would be really difficult to write 10 different games essentially right yeah. that split off but um they they like force you back i remember there was one time it was like do you want to help this guy he's about to fall down do you want to help catch him like put a box under him or let him fall and i was like let him fall and it's like uh i'm gonna let you fall no i'm not and then it went and pushed the box without me choosing it's like why even give me the choice it would have been funny case. though had you chosen the box and he's like not nah, just kidding and then he dies yeah <laughs> um but so like telltale is pretty bad about it but the reason why telltale works and the reason why choose your own adventure books work is because you can pause those and come back yeah. to them later right you can put a book down you can save your game come back to it later so you can play for 10 15 an hour whatever it is but stop and come back with this by the time i got i think we watched it for maybe two and a half hours or so that last 30 minutes i was just stressed i was like i want to just finish this i don't yeah i don't want to just keep being reset over and over because it, it you know it just felt so tedious about like okay that was the wrong choice. Now we got to rewatch this again. All right, let's try this one. And then it was like, but you already knew from the beginning what the the, the theme was, right? You already knew that the choices were yeah. like they they exposed themselves too early. And so by the end of it, it was just like, okay, let's just get this done, you know? And it's like that should not be how no how you enjoy things, <laughs> how you enjoy things, how you consume entertainment. Yeah, do you think this opens up the door for future things like this or well, it's kind of a standalone? I think a lot of people enjoyed it, but I, I don't know why. I'm sure they did. You know. Maybe, I don't know, they got the right choice. They did the the correct choice first time through all the way. Maybe, but I, like I people enjoyed the choose your own adventure stuff. Did you did you get to you did the Netflix choice, right? I assume. Oh, I did like 10 different things. I don't even know. Yeah. Well, did you tell them about Netflix? Uh, on one of the turns. Yeah. What did you think of that? Uh, I don't like it. I don't like mm. I don't like Netflix being like self-aware in its own universe. Yeah. I yeah, don't I, like that at all. It drove me nuts. I thought it was stupid. Yeah. I didn't like the Netflix thing. And then um, the there's one scene where he's talking to the therapist. And she's mm-hmm. like, you really think someone's controlling you? Don't you think this is kind of boring if that was the case? And then it goes into a option tree of like you get in a fight with her and all this stuff. Right. But it's like, why point out that your movie is boring? Because she was right. Like up until that point, nothing was happening. It was really slow. You know, it was yeah. like dragging on. It was like, okay, so you're aware that this is boring and yet you're fine with that? Like, 
I don't know. And then there was no clear, and obviously choose your own adventure. Um, like especially with the books, right? You your choices would take you into a new universe almost, right? Like you would if you're going to the market or if you're going to go to school, it's like you end up in separate universes. It's not one connection with choices that dictate something else, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They did that in this. So where you would choose one option, the dad was like a government agent and then you choose another option and he's not. And so I like, I couldn't figure out what the actual story was. Mm, Yeah. You know, like where's the, what's delusion? What's actually, um reality in this world and is the dad a government agent or did the mom die because the dad was a jerk which is the you the know correct timeline yeah what's what's reality and they and i don't feel like there was any care to making that clear you know what i'm saying yeah yeah i mean the concept is is interesting but i just think it it kind of fell flat yeah well you uh, said you also watched Bird Box, right? That's another Netflix movie that came out this month, or was it last month? Yeah, because everyone and their mom, minus you apparently, yeah. was watching this movie and it's like blowing up on Facebook. This and <laughs> I'm like, I need to get ahead of this just in case it's really good. I don't want it to be ruined. Yeah. So we watched it. Uh, do you know what it's about? Yeah, I watched what a couple of reviews on it, but I didn't really care to watch it. So basically something happens in the in the world and there's like these creatures that are out there and if you look at them then it makes you want to commit suicide kind of like the happening which yeah. was a really awful movie this one didn't feel as as stupid mm. as far as that goes it's it's still weird but whatever it's the same concept so uh Sandra Bullock is uh, <laughs> she's caring for two kids uh uh-huh. Uh, it, it, and without doing spoilers or not, it's, 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 well, there's like a time so, hop, right? Like it goes back. And, okay. So here, let me refresh. There's, there's two different time periods. There's, mm-hmm. there's a time period that starts out right before the creatures and then takes place in the immediate aftermath. And then there's one that is like five years in the future. Mm-hmm. And so it goes back and forth. Now the well, one the future, five years, the future is current time, right? Yes. Yeah, that is that is the current time of the movie. So it's Sandra Bullock and two kids, and they are making their way to what they hope is uh, some safe haven. Mm. Uh, but they have to take a river. Okay, well, actually, I guess I should rephrase or go back. So if you look at these creatures, you commit suicide. So everyone has adapted to wearing blindfolds, and then you just kind of live your life wearing blindfolds and not being able to see anything, because yeah. if you don't look at them, you're fine. They don't actually harm you you know blah 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 do they um, use walking sticks and stuff like because i feel like there's a I, the stuff i've seen it seems like they're just kind of walking around like a person with sight that closes their eyes but if you're blind for five years there's a lot of tactics that actual blind people have to survive i don't know if they use walking sticks but there's a lot of like di- like areas that they've set up where they have like fishing wire and stuff like strung out that they can follow yeah Um, or like if they, like there was one point where she had to like park her boat, you know, off and go. So she had fishing wire and she attached it to the boat and she left. So she knew, you know, how to come back to the boat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, there's different little things. I don't recall anyone using walking sticks. Cause like my, my impression, like, again, I didn't see it, but it seemed like whenever they were blindfolded, they seemed like it was their first time being blindfolded. Oh yeah. Stumbling around, kind of got your hands out in the dark. Yeah. Like they didn't seem proficient at it. And blind people can be proficient yeah like it's not they're not like oh no i can't see anything for their their whole life they figure it out if you're blindfolded for five years i think you would get better at being blindfolded at least yeah i I would think so no um so so in the in the past time it's her and there's like a group of people and they're kind of surviving but you know they slowly get picked off in the future, it's just her and two kids. Yeah. And then you kind of have to like, you know, as you watch, you're trying to figure out what happened to the people and why, how she ended up alone, this and that. Um, but here's, so here's the kicker and here's, here's your title. Call it bird box because 
birds can sense the creatures. Yeah. And they, they will start going crazy if the creatures are near. That's fine. I understand that concept. Yeah. But my issue is even when the birds weren't going crazy, everyone kept on these blindfolds when they were outside. That that makes um, that almost makes the birds pointless because if you're wearing your blindfold at all times, it doesn't matter if the creatures are here or not. Like yeah. you're blindfolded. What you should do is you carry the birds with you and you should be able to go out without blindfolds. You keep it with you and you can get stuff done. You can travel or you can build. You can do whatever you need to do. And if the birds start alerting you, flip your blindfold on, you know, get yeah. somewhere. But if you're going to wear the blindfold at all times, unless you're inside, then what's the, I don't even, there's not even a point. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> like, yeah, that's uh that, that was my issue with it, but. The, yeah, there doesn't seem like there'd be a lot of point to carry birds if you're just gonna be blindfolded, like you said. Like, exactly. There's no. How 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 much do you have to see the monsters to want to kill yourself? Like, is it like Medusa where you have to make eye contact? You there? Oh, reconnecting. I don't know what happened. There you go. Oh, there you are. What happened? I don't know. You just... You died. Everything died. Um, uh, anyways. Yeah, I don't know. Like I was saying, uh, I'm sure there's probably a good reason, like, someone could point out, but as far as I can see, I thought the birds were pointless. Yeah, so... They I didn't utilize it right. I was asking, is it... How much do you have to see the monster? Is it like Medusa, where you have to make eye contact? Is it you just see them? Well, we, we don't know what the monster actually is because we never see it. Okay. So I don't know if it's a, a like a person looking thing or it it almost implies it, it looks like a smoke monster, like from Lost. Okay. So I don't know if you can glimpse it and you're fine or if you have to like look straight at I don't know. Yeah. Like I don't know why you couldn't just walk like looking down. Yeah. yeah. And then like, hey, if it's around, just close your eyes until it's gone. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, that's uh, it's weird. Like the concept is interesting, right? Like that vision is it's kind of a good concept. Your enemy, right? Being able to see is your enemy. So if you you take out your eyes, you're much safer. But it sounds like it wasn't done super well. Um, I mean, it looked good. Uh, I thought that. I mean, the acting was was pretty good. Sandra mm. Bullock. Um, what's his face? Uh, John Malkovich is in it. Um, I'm mean, there's like a couple other s- smaller roles, but it just was, it was okay. That's yeah. it. It, it. It did. It doesn't deserve all the hype that it's been getting all around social media. But yeah. Well, I, I heard in the original book because it, it was originally a book, um, right? That because they get to a sanctuary at the end, I guess. But mm-hmm. in the book, everyone had gouged their eyes out instead of being blindfolded. Oh, really? Yeah. Which that's okay. intense. Yeah, that is pretty intense. And in, in the in the movie, it's just like an institute for the blind. Mm. So everyone's already blind. Yeah. So all blind people, they're just they would be really well if you were blind before all this happened. Oh yeah, they're thriving. Were they? Did they? Was that part of the story at all? Blind people. It was people the very just, end of the movie. Were they ruling everything? Uh, no, they. We don't see any blind people till the end where they arrive, and then it's like, hey, this is your new new home. We're all blind here, and the end. What if you're like, you have a, a stigmatism, like you can't see things like super crisp, or just have yeah, just have really bad vision. Yeah, you lose your glasses, or you just pop them off for a minute. <laughs> I don't know how clearly you have to see it. Yeah. Um, Do you think so? People have been comparing it to a quiet place because it's a removing the senses type thing, right? Um, Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's? I mean, it's it is similar in in that way, but as far as like being good, no. Yeah. Um, and actually, so I take it back. I I don't know exactly the how much of the thing you have to see, but they did test it out mm. and it backfired because one guy watched and he saw a glimpse of it on like a, a security camera. Oh yeah. 
that w- and that was enough to to make him kill himself. Mm. Um, and, and some of the some of the deaths are pretty brutal too. There's, I mean, just imagining people doing like the first thing that they can find to kill themselves. So, um, do you think was that more of the point? Was it like a Final Destination movie? Because I feel uh, like, like in what way? Uh, have you ever seen Final Destination? I've seen the first one. I mean, I, I don't. I'm not a fan of those movies. The whole. If you mean like it, the point was to be like gruesome, gruesome, no. yeah, no, okay, no. There and, and a lot of it was it, it didn't focus on it, but you you knew what that character was doing. Yeah, like like a uh, one person. So when it all started happening, there was just like mass chaos in the streets, and you know people are wrecking and cars are blown up, and then one person like looked and like just went, and there was like a, a burning car just like completely engulfed, and just went and like sat in the driver's seat, mm. and just burn a lot of people just like would go like step in front of a vehicle or stab themselves shoot themselves if they have a gun yeah i it, it, it's not gruesome in that way it's yeah. just like it's like the happening it gives you the the idea yeah where Except it's just like just suck. <laughs> well because like it, those deaths were like real slow and like mm-hmm. uh methodical is that the right is that how i would yeah. describe I, it like you could, you could that. where they're just kind of like this is what i'm doing i don't care i'm not worried about it i'm just gonna die like the guy who laid in front of the lawnmower. <laughs> like there's not. Well, I would say it is similar to that. Yeah. yeah, it's. I mean, there's not like a whole lot of thought into it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I was hearing a lot about it, and then I kind of looked into it, and then it was just like uh, all the people, the people that I kind of trust or like line up with, were kind of like, "What is this? Mm-hmm. Like, why? I don't get why this is popular." So I was like, "Ah, I'll just watch reviews on it. I don't feel like watching, spend as much time as it would take to watch it." So I just I went ahead half and skipped it. Half is a lot better than the second half. The first half? The first half, yeah. Yeah. Because it, it's, it's like the group, you know, trying to survive and figure stuff out. It's got like that zombie type thing feel to it. Yeah. And then after that, it's kind of just some good moments, but it's, you're not missing nothing. Yeah. Um. Another thing that I, I saw on Twitter uh, that I thought was an interesting question was, um, oh man, now my mind just blinked. It was about horror movies and thrillers and the difference between the two. Um, and is, what do you consider Silence of the Lambs? Do you consider it a horror or a thriller? I would probably say thriller. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying too. I'm never was- scared during it. Like horror, I, I, I need to be scared. Yeah. So I... Like, to me, I think the difference is with a thriller, your main character is chasing the villain, right? Like they're trying to capture them. They're trying to stop them. They're trying to figure out who it is. They're, they are moving in a direction, whether physically or emotionally or intellectually, towards the killer to stop them. And that's mm-hmm. what makes it a thriller. Whereas a horror, it's the opposite your main character yeah. is trying to get away from the villain because the villain is trying to kill them, to murder them, to torment them, whatever. And that's right. generally the, the difference between the two. That's why even though people yeah, like, look at, you know, uh, Hannibal Lecter as this terrible, you know, serial killer type thing, the movie's a thriller because you're following um, Jody Jody Foster. Jodie Foster, thank you. Uh, trying to stop Buffalo Bill. Yeah, but uh, I just thought that was an interesting conversation. What would you classify like The Shining as? Uh, I would say that's a horror. Yeah, because you have the first, you have the house kind of tormenting um, Jack Nicholson, and then Jack Nicholson, because of that, tormenting his family. You know, like. Unless you want to talk about the um, the groundskeeper being the ultimate hero, which of course he is, but you know. Oh well, absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So I I compared uh, Zodiac and Friday the Thirteenth. Right, you have two two oh, yeah. opposing slashers, right? Like two murderers with knives or whatever, like terrible, terrible people. Uh, mm-hmm. But with Friday the Thirteenth, Jason is going after everyone and he's like this unstoppable force 
where in Zodiac, Jake Gyllenhaal is trying to capture the Zodiac killer. You know, like there's yeah. the, there's a clear cat and mouse with both, but it's just which one your protagonist is. Yeah. No, that they definitely makes sense. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I think unless there's anything else you want to add, I think we'll wrap this episode up. That's all I got. Um, so you can follow us on Twitter at I Seen That Pod, like us on Facebook, and if you would like, over on Patreon, you can help us decide who has to pay the punishment. Uh, whoever has the most votes at the end of the month gets to choose a terrible movie for the other one to watch. Currently, Taylor is still in the lead, and I would appreciate it if I didn't have to watch all these bad movies because he's threatening. You like it. What was it? Battlefield Earth? Is that your next? I really don't want to watch that. It's on It's on the list. I have a list of about 700 movies I'm ready for you to watch. <laughs> I'm getting a list ready for you. I just got to. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got to get some votes. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been fun. So thanks for listening. We'll be back in a couple of days. Woo woo.